I think I've made it pretty clear on all my social media accounts, my Tomorrow Space Pods, and the Tomorrow Live show that I think rockets are the best thing ever. And I don't live too far from Vandenberg Air Force Base, which is one of the four major launch sites that are here in the United States. So what's it like to actually go to a rocket launch? Well, this is your Space Pod for January 26, 2016. If you're looking for the ultimate display of brutal power, it's very hard to beat a rocket launch in person. There's nothing like seeing a few tons of exotic metals flying on top of a fuel tank, riding a column of fire all the way up to orbital velocity. In this case, we'd be watching the launch of Jason 3, a NASA Earth Sciences satellite, which just so happened to be perfectly timed to launch on January 17th, right smack dab in the middle of several days off that I had. Now, I go to websites like spaceflightnow.com and nasaspaceflight.com in order to keep up with the launch schedules and see if there may be any changes to when it is actually going to launch. Jason 3 is the next in a long series of satellites that study the oceans that have been a collaboration between NASA and CNES, the French Space Agency. It began in 1992 with Topex Poseidon. Topex standing for topography experiment and Poseidon representing the Greek god of the seas, which is what Topex Poseidon would study. Using radar and a suite of scientific instruments, it would look at the relative height of the ocean, map global tides, see what the effects of climate change were on the oceans, and improve our overall understanding of oceans here on Earth. A successful mission led to the development of Jason-1, a similar satellite retaining that collaboration between NASA and CNES, and launched in 2001, still operating today. With better instrumentation, we now had two data sets to compare. Topex Poseidon lost its operational capability in 2005 and in 2008, Jason 2 was launched. It improved upon the instrumentation even further, and now we had both Jason 1 and Jason 2 operational. The world's oceans were sampled completely every five days. And with the launching of Jason 3, scientists will be awash in data from three missions simultaneously delivering the science. But what about that launch? Back in 2013, I was lucky enough to see the first launch of a Falcon 9 version 1.1 from Vandenberg, or what's now known as Falcon 9 Flight 6. And it just so happens that with the launch of Jason 3, I might have a chance of seeing the last Falcon 9 version 1.1. And we're on our way out of Los Angeles to get out of this place. We're on our way to Vandenberg right now, which is about 180 miles northwest of Los Angeles. Uh, so that means from where I live in LA, it's about a three hour drive. And in addition to that, uh, the nice thing about today is that it is a Sunday, so we don't have to deal with any of the usual terrible traffic that we get in Los Angeles. Although right now, if you look outside of the car, um, we are dealing with fog on our way out so obviously we're hoping that this clears up by the time launch is supposed to occur which is at 10:42 in the morning and it's just a little bit before 7 right now um, so hopefully everything clears out and we'll get a nice view of the rocket and we'll uh, just enjoy ourselves as we take a nice little Sunday drive uh, to go watch a controlled explosion so good times so we're a little over halfway to Lompoc now in Vandenberg Air Force Base and we've come out of the fog and into the sun um, and we're hoping that the weather remains really 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 nice like this uh, on our way out so we'll just have to see how it works out we're enjoying a nice drive along the coast right now beautiful beautiful California <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, that's true. Batman is the best out of everyone. Best human. Well, if you took away everyone's, like, if you took away Superman's powers, he's just a weak person. He's a, he's a weak journalist. Yeah. I'm gonna get as much as you know. 
I love you guys. <laughs> except, except for you, I don't, well, I'm still not quite sure, but I love you and I like you. Yes. <laughs> Ten bucks says every car on the side of the road that we've seen on the way in the Lone Poke today is a confused SpaceX employee. SpaceX employee. <laughs> <laughs> what? And then we brought up again that guy's like, is, is Mindy Kaling real? Yeah. <laughs> I love that they try to sue the guy in the so we just stopped off in Lumpoke just to sort of uh, hit the bathroom and then grab some coffee and things to get us ready to go. And we're now heading out to our viewing spot on Ocean Avenue, which is on the southern portion of Vandenberg Air Force Base and uh, should be... <sighs> well, we're going to hear it for sure uh, if it launches today. But as you can see, uh, we've got a lot of fog to contend with. Uh, the Weather reports are saying that it's going to burn off before the time of the launch, but it's almost an hour till launch time and it's still looking as thick as it was an hour ago. So uh, we'll have to see and we'll hope that we can see it. Well, we're at our spot that we watch launches from here at Vandenberg, at least the, uh, the Atlas and the Falcon 9s. It's just that there is a problem that direction is where the Falcon 9 is right now. And you'll notice that there is a lot of fog in the way. So we probably won't be looking through that today, unfortunately, uh, to do that. But we're still gonna at least enjoy the noise from our rocket today. Get your cameras out now, everybody. This is gonna be the loudest fog you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't get my camera out because we're using it to record audio. There we go. There we go. Oh man. watching the space pod i'm jared head what are your thoughts about the jason 3 mission and the wrap-up of the falcon 9 version 1.1's career well let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe to us as well and a big 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 shout out to all of our patrons on patreon in fact we are now putting the names of our patreon patrons onto our space pod so that they can be seen for all of the world to know that these people are the ones who are helping bring space pods to all who may want to watch. And we just reached our second milestone, $500 per month on Patreon. That means that you now get four space pods per month starting in February. So here's to all of you who help make these space pods possible. And if you'd like to contribute to us, you can actually go to patreon.com slash space pod. So until the next space pod, keep exploring. Jason, 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 Jason,